so it is about 5.17 right now. I started my day at 3 a.m. And it is dark out. Nobody wants to be up this late, trust me. Or early. See, I didn't even, I got my times mixed up. I want to make sure I'm leveled here. Alright. Yo, what's going on? Not just playing. I'm not like I'm not a vlogger or anything. I'm a DSD driver. I go around grocery stores and I stock the shelves of the grocery stores with specialty coffee. Just want to take you guys around because it gets pretty lonely. <laughs> but yeah, let's go. So from my first stop to now, I made two stops already, um, but I kind of just wanted to uh, kind of just talk about what's on my mind, and that's uh, treating, how, how you treat people really affects how a person's day, you know, the rest of, the rest of the day is, you know. Mm -mm. Uh, so far already, I've encountered four people, and two out of the four, nice people. The other two... You know, whatever's going on in their lives. I guess what I'm trying to say is uh, it really helps you when you get good vibes from other people, you know, and vice versa. And so I guess the point of my message is just be nice. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's already hard enough, especially with this pandemic. It's uh, be dangerous out there. I mean, I see some people without their masks. I'm like, bro. Get your mask out. So you already know, <clears throat> it's lunchtime. I'm at Whole Foods uh, for my sixth stop, I think. And had to get a burrito. Uh, I get the burritos here all the time because I have a burrito card from them. Some lady convinced me to get a burrito card. And now I'm getting burritos from Whole Foods. This is a sausage burrito. And um, it's pretty bomb. <clears throat> What's poppin', guys? <laughs> so awkward. Anyway, uh, happy weekend. Um, I'm done with work this week. Uh, I worked a 50 hour, 50 hour week. And so now I'm ready to just relax this weekend. Um, and to celebrate, I'm gonna show you guys how I make cold brew for work. Uh, every day I have a little hydro flask of cold brew that I take with me. Um, helps me stay awake uh, and so yeah I wanted to run down on how I make it I'm gonna do like a voiceover on the clip yeah I hope you guys enjoy I hope you guys start making cold brews and then you can stay rejuvenated on a daily guys so grinding up the beans I got this little grinder triple tree is the brand on Amazon a hand grinder um, does the job so as you see here I'm washing my hands make sure uh, everything is all clean but anyway um, I got the water already prepared I put about 11 1190 grams of water it's very exact um, reason being is because I want the all of the coffee beans to be saturated by the water and so I filled it all the way up because um, for some reason the coffee beans some of them I think the larger particles they tend to float up and so um, yeah it's, this is the downside of having a grinder that doesn't um, grind up consistently and so you gotta just make use of what you got and so yeah 
So I got about 78, 79 grams of coffee and uh, 1,190 grams of water. And that makes a one to 15 ratio. And yeah, about 20 hours later, it will be done. 20 hours later. And here we have cold brew. Again, I used a one to 15 ratio, but feel free to use more or less depending on how you like your cold brew. I hope you guys enjoyed this. All right, guys, this is the end of this video. I can't even talk, I can't talk. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, uh, thank you to whoever's watching. Uh, I appreciate it. Please subscribe for future content. I will be putting out more coffee content um, because I believe coffee is growing um, just in general, uh, but also the amount of people making coffee at home, I'm pretty sure is growing as well, especially during these times. And so um, I will be making more content around coffee. Uh, soon I will be roasting my own coffee. I'll have a, I have a, a roaster that's coming in. It's a stove top roaster. Uh, the cool thing about it is that there is a thing attached to the roaster uh, that will allow me to data track and so I will be just learning about the curves and uh, understanding what to look for when creating a roasting profile so uh, yeah I'm excited for that I hope you guys stay tuned for that content and yeah please stay safe um, wash your hands and be mindful of the people around you um, it's scary out there and just just make people's lives easier by uh, do a little social distance, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, uh, I'll catch you guys later. See ya.